The Navy has released a technical report that was done to determine if a smaller surface danger zone, or SDZ, would change previous conclusions on whether sites were reasonable alternatives for further consideration for a firing range complex for Marines. The report took a look at all the potential sites on Guam that could house a firing range complex, but determined that only the Naval Magazine was worthy of a re-examination using what's called the probabilistic methodology. It's a new method of determining where stray bullets may fly in a firing range. This method produces smaller SDZs, thus requiring less land for a firing range. Originally, DOD used an older method that created larger SDZs requiring more land for firing ranges. Under the old method, DOD said a firing range could only fit at Pocket. After DOD was sued by the National Trust for Historic Preservation, the Guam Preservation Trust, and We Are Guahan, they decided to conduct a supplemental EIS using the probabilistic method. This report recommends that they only use this probabilistic method on the Naval Magazine to see if a firing range can fit there. We Are Guahan's Levin Camacho doesn't understand why the Navy has ruled out all the other potential sites. Out of all the land, I believe Anderson's 15,000 acres, almost twice as large as Naval Magazine, and there's not a single alternative that's identified up at Anderson. And that's one of the things that was in the, this recent report, is that um, some of the basis for not looking at Fenagadzin is that they would have to move military homes. They would have to move antennas. And it's just, it's kind of insulting to think that they're willing to take uh, land from the government of Guam or from private landowners, but they're not willing to move homes or move antennas to put it on within their own footprint. Camacho's concerned that even with Naval Magazine, DOD will still need to acquire some private property. Despite owning or over one-fourth of Guam, um, DOD still intends on acquiring more land. Um, there are up to 55 pieces of property in Agate Santa Rita that DOD will need in order to build this firing range complex down south. The report also notes that the Naval Magazine contains large areas of freshwater habitats, is mostly designated as overlay refuge lands, and recovery habitat for Mariana Crow, Guam Micronesian Kingfisher, Mariana's Fruit Bat, and Guam Rail. And it also has archaeological areas. There are some sites that get uh, dismissed as an example because it's recovery habitat. If you look at Pogget and you look at Naval Magazine, they're both a recovery habitat for the same exact species. But yet those two sites get moved forward while everything else gets eliminated.